Today we'll be taking a look at a professional match of StarCraft 2. Joining me here on the lovely snowy map of altitude is the blue Protoss. Will he be the force of good that his name makes us think he will? It is Hero. And the opponent, the Protoss, the red probes in the upper right corner. Will he be the bad dream that his name makes us think he is? It is Nightmare. You know, actually, on that subject, I notice Nightmare, he has the M capitalized to make it like distinct Nightmare. Is it not actually supposed to be nightmare like a bad dream? Is it supposed to be nightmare like a horse that doesn't want to work the day shift? I don't know. I don't think I've noticed that before now. If I ever have a conversation, I'll have to ask. If you know, by all means, let me know. I, I'm just taking a guess. I'm just here to be entertaining. I'm here to talk. I'm here to hopefully improve your day just a little bit, ever so slightly. That's my goal, baby steps, along with these builds, baby steps. Nobody's doing anything too drastic. We have a pylon block from Nightmare already, hero, hero out to kill the probe. <laughs> Doesn't need that pylon just yet, will eventually slap it down. Nightmare cancels that one. It's shenanigans. You see, Terrans. You see, Zergs. Protoss will do it to each other, too. Pro Protoss are not exclusively upset with just the other factions. You know, probes will frequently go after SCVs. They will go after drones and block hatcheries, stop mining. But it would appear they treat each other the same way, too. Don't be too offended. Don't take it too personally. Nightmare does clear the pylon. Nightmare's probe is actually still alive, which is an impressive feat. I like it. Where's Hero's probe? Well, Hero's probe is still alive, too. It just wasn't in the base. And it's not going to be alive for long. Rip probe. Rest in problems. Nightmare, double stalker. Did we have any deviations? No, just one gate. We know Hero's got his Stargate out a bit quicker. Nightmare actually has not made a tech choice yet, which is a choice in itself. PvP, there's not a whole lot of predictions to be made. It's kind of a bit of a wild card poker game. You can rest fairly confidently. There's going to be blink stalkers. And that's about it. <laughs> Anything past that. Who knows? You could, you could see charge. You could see DTs. Archons common. Disruptors common. Stargate units. I'm looking forward to discovering their builds, the same as you. We did see a tech choice come out for Nightmare. He's going with the Twilight Council. Probe. Single probe going to activate that stasis ward. The rest were pulled off the line. Very nicely handled. Hero not going to get any damage done. I'm a little surprised he went for the stasis ward, but the battery, I guess, does make sense. With there being only one oracle. It's a little tough to break through that battery's defensive powers. Second Oracle on the field, though, on the other side of the map. Other side of the base, I should say. No battery in this one, but three Stalkers might count for just the same level of power. The Zealot off. We need dramatic Protoss music. Are they going to get each other? Hero win with three health, three hit points. <laughs> Uh-oh. Where's this oracle going? Is the other one still trapped up here? Yes, there are stalkers in position to try and 
cut that off. Here, Hero did get his Twilight up and running. Both are going for Blink. Ooh. I like the Stasis Wards. Especially in a position you really wouldn't expect it to be. You get closer to your opponent's base, you might start to expect it. Oracle? Oracle. Yeah. You get close to your opponent's base, you might start to expect to see the Stasis Wards. Top of the ramp, amidst, amidst the buildings, maybe in a drop location. Don't expect to see it on your front lawn. Nightmare's gonna wake up here, try and go get his paper at whatever time of day he wants to wake up, because he's not working the day shift. We've established that. And he's gonna walk out here to try and get his paper. And he's gonna get frozen. Hmm? 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 Nightmare. The tension. <laughs> eh. Even if he does trigger it, it's not catastrophic. It's not game ending by any means. Hallucinated Phoenix gonna do a little scouting. Both players taking their thirds. We have a gentlemanly macro match ahead of us, it seems. <laughs> he did trigger the stasis. As an observer comes out too though, just a few seconds and he could have destroyed it with no loss. But as I said, it's not game ending, it's, it's barely even game changing. I think he triggered it trying to kill the hallucinated phoenix. See charge coming on the way for hero. No charge for nightmare though. What's the plan? What's the angle? Is it just going to be a lot of Blink Stalkers? Just try and leverage that advantage? I like the plus one from Hero as well. I like that Hero is investing a bit more. We might start to see some discrepancies come out in the builds as such. Nightmare favoring production, favoring more Stalkers. He's getting a Prism, which indicates he might want to move out, get some damage done. Good Blink. Just force away those Oracles. They will find no damage this day. Did they see that though? Did they know it ahead of time? Entirely possible. It's in their namesake after all. Templar Archives, again, Hero seems to be investing a bit more in his future, setting up that Protoss 401k, IRA fund, all those juicy acronyms that none of us will actually get much benefit from when we get to that age. Oof, realism, sorry. Immortal and Templar Archives coming out for a nightmare. Yes. Will they be for Storm? Will they be for Archons? I would expect Archons. Storm doesn't really have much, uh, much place in PvP. The problem is that Protoss units are so durable. They're so tanky. Even Zealots, their basic unit, is quite durable. You also have to factor in, Stalkers are one of their more mobile units in the uh, form of Blink. You two, this is, we're just macroing up, huh? Just forcing me to be the entertaining one for as long as possible here. Should send them a bill, an apology for the viewers here. Forge at long last showing up for Nightmare, 8.45. Oh, Hero moves out on the map, first one. He's only, he's got maybe half the stalker count, but he is going to actually deal with that Nexus. Blink forward from Nightmare first, enabling Hero to blink away. Hmm. Just a little bit of damage, just a sprinkle. Splash of damage, but not splash damage, because that's something different. Hmm. Hero gathering everything up here, sending out some hallucinated phoenix, phoenixes, phoenixes, phoenix eye. We've been over that before. There is one immortal. <laughs> Nightmare. I'm gonna have to go with the immortal. Is the commander of the operation here? Even though the archons are arguably the strongest force in that army, we know the immortals in charge. 
hero just testing the waters, trying to lure some of the stalkers away. Nightmare not going to take the bait though, he just wants to play defensive, he wants to get this nexus up. Solid revelation tag from hero Robo Bay on the way for Nightmare. Ah, oh. hero. Hero just seeming to be one, two steps ahead-ish. Investing in his future, getting those tech buildings just a little bit quicker. He had Archons just a minute quicker. Nightmare is not in a bad position though, and the, uh, the flow of a PvP match can teeter-totter very quickly, thanks to these bad boys. I have to say, good blink forward from Nightmare picking off one Stalker. He still has the Stalker advantage. Hero killing off some of his own things to try and get another prism, more disruptors. Another revelation tag goes out. Guardian shield from the sentry. Oracle number one going to be picked off. There's already a prism here. Is Hero anticipating losing the prism or does he want to hit a different spot? Mm. Upgrade advantage does go to Hero, but it is slight. It's only two to one. Disruptor shot number one goes out, hits our immortal commander, making him feel slightly more mortal. Second disruptor shot goes out. It looks like it was canceled. Charge lots get on top of other charge lots, and the Archons struggling to find their purpose in this battle. I feel like with the uh, oh, actually, Hero takes the Stalker lead. Good disruptor shots. Nightmare has disruptors of his own though, and now Hero's blinking over to the right side. Not sure what. Uh, Oh, good disruptor hit. It's tough to actually see what's going on here. Battery overcharge is going to be used, but there's so much damage going out. I'm not sure the overcharge can actually save very much. The Nexus is looking to be in peril. The Immortal is picked off. Reinforcements coming in. Stalker's going to be warped in. Archon's already ready to deal with them, though. Two for one disruptor hit goes off. Nightmare losing the Nexus, but going to repel the attack. Beautifully done. The Stasis Ward body system, yes, very good. Hero did lose that first prism, which means the uh, the second prism was a good choice, a backup prism, yes. As I said, body system. The Noah's Ark build, two disruptors, two archons, two prisms, why not? Anything to survive the Protoss Flood, am I right? Next is going to be slapped down again. Hero on five bases now. Barely. Fifth one just up and running now. An ambitious Disruptor. They stay away from me, Disruptor. Charge lots. Oh, he can't, has to cancel the base again. The economic advantage is going to start to run show itself here. Archons waddling away from disruptor shots. Disruptor shots on both sides. Oh, Hero takes the hit there. Nightmare takes the hit there. <laughs> Firing disruptor shots. What? What was that, Hero? Oh my god, he just lost like 10 stalkers. It looked like they were on a move command. <laughs> As I said earlier, the flow of the PvP match can teeter-totter very quickly. Hero slipping a bit, it seems. What is going on? The charge lots trying to wrap around. Disruptors, two for one shot. Hero taking a little punch back. God, losing those stalkers hurts. Nightmare with a huge stalker advantage now, two to one. Upgrades still in favor of fire everything. Hero not quite paying attention to everything as quickly as he needs to to deal with these disruptor shots. You cannot leave your forces alone for very long. Blinking forward, Nightmare gonna pick off some of the disruptors, losing some most of his stalkers though. Hero blink, uh, blinking charge lots, 
charge lots. I'm trying to deal with an Archon and a battery over here. I don't think you can break those. More reinforcements from Nightmare, who is still just struggling to stay on these four bases, which is a problem in itself. Hero is taking a sixth base. The production is just going to start to be too great. It doesn't matter what kind of fights you're taking if you have oh, more than double your opponent's income eventually. Hero still getting damaged on though. Nightmare actually going to force him back for a bit. Army supplies similar, but the disruptor count is in favor of Nightmare, who is feeling confident enough to actually push out. Charge lots get on top of the disruptors, though. Good hit. Number two. A little less good, but still a connection. Hero forcing Nightmare back. The charge lots doing their job. As I said, they are scary. They are durable. Just ask any Terran player. Disruptors. The heart attacks this game. Oh my word. Stalker Disruptor. It's tense. It's effective. It's very difficult to deal with. If you are not paying attention consistently, you are caught off guard at any moment. You can say goodbye to most of your army. The Protoss is Widow Mine, am I right? Blinking forward, Nightmare confident enough to push onto Hero's side of the map. Gate takes out the Robo facility. He could get the Robo Bay here. Cease Disruptor production. Not going to commit to that just yet. Instead, going to start dealing with the army units. Overcharge used very prematurely here. I'd go for the Robo Bay. Yeah. Get rid of that Robo Bay. Cut the Disruptor production for a few minutes. Give yourself some breathing room. Was that Hero's only Robo? No, he has one in the main base. But now, these probes are in danger, the Nexus is under fire, another Disruptor shot is gonna take out some Stalkers, the Charge Lot's gonna wrap around, 22 probes have fallen, but Nightmare is going to get caught in between two bases here, he's gonna start trying to blink towards this left side. More probes falling, Nightmare actually pulls ahead on the worker count, not taking out any of the bases, though. Like, Hero can just replace workers six at a time, if he wants to. At this point, I'm not even sure you really want to. To commit that much, I mean, you do need, obviously, some workers, and probably 60 to 70, but... With so much of a bigger focus on Army, Nightmare's gonna pick off the Disruptors. There are no more Disruptors for anybody out on the map now. Nightmare is dependent on these Stalkers. Hero has one Archon, and not much else. He does have quite a few Stalkers, but... Ooh. God, Nightmare never got plus three. He's still on plus two attack. So Hero is having an advantage in that he can take, he can try to take just a little bit better of a fight. His units will deal with nightmares a bit quicker, a bit more effectively. Blinking forward, Hero feeling good, feeling ambitious, and actually going to start to force Nightmare away on both fronts. Charge slots are too good, guys. I need a charge slot nerf. Too strong. Too good, am I right, Terrans? Hmm. Who's ahead? Wow. Get out of here. Hero has lost a lot more resources. Most of it's minerals, though, and with it being 117 zealots dying off. I think we can start to see. Recall initiated. Warping. Going to start. Only gonna get four probes. Nightmare choosing to back off. I like the decision. Getting some Archons. Really wish we had plus three. Man. Like, I don't want to say it's a huge advantage. Because on, you know, at face value, it's like, okay, the Stalkers gain what? Two more damage. The Immortal gains like five. The Disruptors actually gain nothing, because they're strong enough on their own, they don't need upgrades. The problem is it's an overtime thing. 
heroes taking maybe 5% of a better fight. Every fight. Over time that adds up, Nightmare has the high ground, be careful hero can Skywalker. Don't lose your legs in this battle. Hero feeling good, feeling confident, gonna blink up the forcing Nightmare away. Is there a battery up here? There are batteries. I don't expect Hero to break a battery overcharge. No prism either for either one of these players. Reinforcement options are limited. Money at this point is limited. Nightmare missing out on some minerals. Hero a bit starved for gas. If only there were gases we could take anywhere. Uh, he may be favoring minerals, actually, to try and get more zealots out. Which, I think is a fine choice. It's fine enough. 19 stalkers is pretty good. If you can have enough zealots to tank in front of them, then it's a good choice. Oh, observer picked off. Oh, Nightmare won the zealot off this time. Heroes could have been damaged. Bye bye, Disruptor. Nightmare is trying to take another Nexus. He's been on four bases for a very long time. And I think the income is starting to show. Hero. The mineral income. Hero can start to take some bad fights if he's losing Zealots. It's a good trade. Starting to be able to play a bit more of a Zerg-esque style. You just start throwing away these mineral-only units. Even trading out two Zealots for every Stalker at this point. But Nightmares is a pretty good trade. Getting the Disruptor shots before those attacks go out. Recall initiated, though expect that to be Nightmare Stalkers. Can they even win this battle, though? Hero has the Stalker count. At this position, it looks like blinking around the probes, dedicated to their work, so focused. Hero hitting this side, overcharge gonna be used, which means this base is toast. Why the probes are trying to give a high five to the Nexus is beyond me. GG, going to be called Hero, takes the game. Almost in, in a Zerg-esque War of Attrition style trying to outmine his opponent, keeping Nightmare on four bases for most of the match. Hero pulls ahead with the income, can start throwing away Zealots left and right, and eventually is going to take the game. How many Zealots was it? Let's say he's got 24 on the map, 166 thrown away. So you do the math, that's the 190 Zealots total. Wow, pretty good. If you enjoyed, be sure to let me know in the comments below, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.